In this video we're going to talk about how to bring up an XCOM server and also edit a configuration file for it. Uh, this video assumes that you've already set up um, an XCOM vSAM history file and an XCOM RDS file. The first thing we'll need to do is go to the high level qualifier for the RXCOM install and then from here we're going to look for CBXG Parm and we're going to edit this and from inside here we're going to edit the XCOM config file and then inside here is all the configuration parameters for the XCOM server for this demo we're just going to set up a very basic bare bones server that's just running IPv4 so the first things we're going to want to change are SNA, we're going to want to change this to be no and that's just going to turn off SNA and we're also going to change our surf port to just a port that we know is not being used so you might need to contact your system administrator for that and after that we're just going to leave this member but make note of this uh, whole data set and the config member Now we're going to go into uh, CBXG JCL. And then inside here, we're going to go into the member XCOM. And we're going to need to do a few things to this member. The first thing we're going to need to do is um, add a job card to the top of it. After that, we're going to change um, all occurrences of the server name to whatever server name you want to specify for this. The next thing we'll want to change is the prefix. And we're just going to change that to be the prefix for our install. And then after that, we're going to want to go down to uh, the PARM field. We're going to take out the ACB name and we're going to insert uh, the config name. Now that that's done, uh, there's just a few more little changes. We're also going to change the XCOM high level qualifier to be our XCOM high level qualifier. And then the last change is we're going to just comment out uh, this stump. If you want, you can create the data set, but for this demo, we're just going to assume that it's not created. And then we're just going to save and submit this job. And now we're just going to look to see if this is server's running. And on SysView, I can see that it is. If it does end with a SOC 47, um, that's because you're not APF authorized. And you'll need to APF authorize the load lib. So you would just need to go and uh, this data set right here, the CBXG load you'll need to APS authorize that data set. But otherwise, we can see uh, right in SysView that our server's up. And inside here, we can look at the log. And we can see that it's active and it's listening on the port that we specified. And if we want to check just to make sure that it can receive commands, we can do dash function or server name and just a show command. 
and then we can see there that it accepted the command. And that concludes how to bring up a basic XCOM server.